Welcome back here in the Tech Talk studio. Um, I'm here with Jeroen van der Ham. Uh, he's a researcher and teacher in system and network engineering at the University of Amsterdam. Uh, Jeroen, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you're guiding about 35 students. Yes. Uh, are these 35 hackers? Well, so they are students in system and network engineering, and some of them do projects, research projects that have to do with hacking, security, uh, but also forensics. Some are just regular network engineering students, so they don't really do security, but mm. others uh, are very much into security and uh, hacking, yes. Okay. Uh, something uh, you told me uh, interests me quite much, that, that you have an ethical committee now to cope with sensitive issues where these students need to deal with. Uh, please explain. Yes. Um, so we've noticed that we've done a lot of security research. So the students uh, uh, discover vulnerabilities in software. Um, and we've, need, we've uh, needed to do a lot of responsible disclosure procedures. Okay. Um, and this was sometimes hard to explain also to our management that it, it's necessary to do these procedures directly with the companies and that we have to make a very short line um, and talk to them and explain them what is wrong and how they can fix things. Um, but we also needed to explain to the students that they had to be uh, responsible about this, that they had to have a, an, a, an ethical um, opinion or an ethical uh, behavior about these uh, responsible disclosures. Okay. Um, so now we have an ethical committee that looks at the, the projects that the students do, the, pr the research proposals. The students write an ethical paragraph in their uh, project proposal okay. where they explain what they are going to do and how this will affect things, whether they will um, uh, touch sensitive information, whether they see possible vulnerabilities already, what they will do if they find a uh, response, uh, if they find the vulnerability, or whether they find uh, private uh, information. So, in their proposal, a paragraph on ethics is demanded. Yes. Okay. Um, and then, once we have all of the proposals, we look at them, and then we look at the ethical paragraph, and of course, also what they are going to do and what we know about the, the subject. Mm. Um, and then we scale them on a on a risk level, um, okay. and so we intensify the, the um, guidance. So if it's a low risk level, it can just go ahead, but if yeah. it's a high risk level, it's not allowed, or it gets more supervision? Um, it gets increasing supervision, okay. um, and if it's a, a too high level, uh, if it's too risky, uh, or if there is too much access to sensitive information, then we either stop it, or we think about whether we think that this is something that needs to be done, and then we um, uh, talk about. Uh, we talk with our management, uh, and we see whether we can still do this or not. Okay, great. But, but with very increased supervision, yes. Okay, very good. Uh, here at the NCSS uh, one conference, responsible disclosure is one of the topics on the agenda. Yeah. Next will be a couple of sessions. Um, what is your message to to the people at the conference about responsible disclosure in general? Um, the I've had uh, experience in responsible disclosure procedure myself, um, and I think that it is a very good thing that we now have more attention to the fact that there is such a thing necessary as responsible disclosure procedure. But I have a little bit of a problem with the name. Um, I think the, the name, name is not right. I think that the name responsible disclosure um, puts too much uh, stress on the fact that the researcher has to be responsible and not the company has to be mm. responsible. In my case, we, uh, we noticed that the, c the company was not taking their responsibility in, in accepting uh, the vulnerability and, and really accepting that there should be something, something like a fix. Okay, there's two sides to the story. It's not only yes. the one who wants to disclose, but mainly the company who has the vulnerability, yeah. their responsibility. Yes. So how would you call this? Responsible repair, responsible Response. <laughs> I've I've seen now that there's also a standardization in the in the ISO uh, forum, mm -hmm. um, and there they call it vulnerability disclosure. Vulnerability disclosure. And, and it's an ISO standard. Yes, okay. this has become an ISO standard. So there's two standards. One is the uh, how the uh, company should deal with vulnerabilities that are being disclosed to the company, uh, what mm -hmm. they sh what they should do, and how they should contact the researcher. And the other is how to deal with uh, vulnerabilities in general in their own software, uh, make sure that everything is fixed. And that procedure okay. is also um, uh, is not aimed at, at disclosures that are 
uh, report it to the company, but just mm -hmm. to disclose it, uh, um, vulnerabilities in general. And this also has a, has a guideline, a tick off box, so sort of things you need to do, just yeah. like the guidelines responsible disclosure? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that m m might work well for companies, governments, all, all, all people. Okay, yeah. very well, very well. Um, Nice t-shirt you have, tech support flowchart, what does yes. it say? Start, find a This <laughs> is an um, XKCD comic, um, which explains how people fix things on other people's computers. Okay, did you get it for hacking? Um, no, this is just uh, something that I bought myself. Okay, uh, last time I met you, you had a t-shirt from the NCSC uh, for responsible disclosure. How do yes. you get it? Um, this was a case, uh, um, uh, a budget telecom provider did not have the security of their client portal in order. Mm -hmm. um, and I found this uh, by accident. Um, and then I respond, uh, reported this to the company. And like I said before, the, the company did not take their, their responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had to go through the NCSC uh, in order to, take, to make them take me seriously and actually get them to fix it. OK, very well. You hack them and all you got what this t-shirt. Yes. Okay, thank yes. you very much. Okay, so here we're here at the conference uh, to show the broader audience what we're doing here. Any famous last words you want to say to them about the National Cybersecurity Conference? Um, I think that it's a very good thing that this is such a big uh, conference, that there are so many people from about all kinds of... a thousand people all over the world. There's a thousand right? people uh, from all over the world, and especially from the Dutch government and the Dutch uh, companies that they're here and that they're learning about uh, uh, security, uh, but also the, the vulnerability disclosure procedures. Um, I think it's a very good thing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jeroen van der Ham. Thank you.